I started Bonnie and Hyde um, because I obviously have an interest in leather and I believe in slow fashion. It's a huge world at the moment of disconsumption. So to avoid that, I believe in slow fashion and being able to pass something on to future generations. Leather goods will always, always outlast um, throwaway fashion. So it's fun, it's, it's something I really love doing. I love working with my hands and creating something from a hide. You see this big piece of leather that turns into something at the end and it's really fulfilling and everything you make is a piece of you. Every product has a bit of me in it, blood, sweat and tears. Um, and you, you get to pass that on to a customer and see them enjoy it for more than a hot minute. My inspiration comes from the West. It's a bit rock and roll, it's a bit bohemian. Sprinkle that Western stardust in. It's a, an eclectic mix, but it's different. I aim to make my products unique. I don't want them to be mass produced and picked off the shelf. They're, they're bespoke. They're something that you, it makes it unique and it's just for you when you buy it. There's been a few challenges. Um, Leatherwork itself is a dying art, I think. Uh, Australia isn't, doesn't have the means that America does, so it's a traditional art. You're working with your hands, and I feel like it's something that's learnt. You've got to practice over time. It's not something that can happen overnight. I've been doing this for years, on and off, and I feel like my skills never honed. You are always getting better, and you're always coming up with new ways to do things and being innovative in a very long traditional practice. Um, so that's been a big challenge and, and being female, uh, there's not a, not a lot of females in my industry. It's getting better but it's been a slow process so lots of old, old fellas that still do this and they're great. They share their information and, and pass on, on skills that help but yeah, it's, it's from a young person's point of view, it's been a little bit different. I take on a, a little bit of custom work still. It's probably my favourite project to do obviously because of the, you get to work with a customer and you get to bring their idea to life. That process is, is great, like you get to sit down at the drawing board and create something and draw it up and have the customers see it. And then I, I like to take photos of the process. So when they take a custom product home, they get to see it from the very raw leather where it's just a piece of leather to it being cut, to it being edged, to it being painted if that's what happens, to it having custom carving, like this is hours of work. It's not. Uh, a five minute job. Any custom work that I do is usually a minimum of a day and a half just on setting it up, designing it, drawing it. It's that expression to make sure you're touching the base and every key aspect that they think that is going to be in their design and making that come to life. Um, and like I said before, it's, it's such a joy to, to put something into a product that is you. It's your idea, it's your design and they take away a little bit of you every time in a good way and, and leather lasts for so long that you know that they'll have that for as long as you can, I'm probably going to be around and as long as they're going to be around, something they can pass on to their future generations. I love that. I love the thought that there'll be a little bit of Bonnie and Hyde when we're well and gone. It's a life that you're breathing a whole new life into. It comes full circle. Uh, the animal gives its skin and, and you honour the beast. It's a, it's, a beautiful, it's a beautiful process. Bonnie and Hyde, curators of handmade leather goodness.